Hi, my name is Chris Gates with NextNet. In an increasingly urbanized world, 2D location technologies are no longer capable of delivering compelling user experiences, finding people, places, or assets in tall buildings, or providing actionable location for critical safety services. I'm here today to talk a little bit about how NextNav and ST are enabling powerful new 3D location capabilities and elevating the blue dot into the complex world we live in. By combining NextNav's network and software with ST pressure sensors, floor level or three meter accuracy is achievable. And this accuracy is crucial because most people experience altitude floor by floor. Whether identifying the altitude of a 911 call or seeking critical aid, providing enhanced situational awareness to first responders, delivering terrific AR experiences or improving user experiences in retail, or even enabling better ride sharing outcomes, Z-axis provides a critical element to a complete location solution. How do we do this? Devices from mobile phones to smartwatches contain high quality pressure sensors today. We combine the measurements from these pressure sensors with data from our dedicated wide area altitude network through our cloud services platform and enable these devices to get the highest accuracy altitude available today. And importantly, this service is available across entire metro areas. It's not restricted to specific buildings. Our service is available nationwide in the US with over 105 major metros live by April 2021, including all 50 CMAs required by the FCC for 911Z access service. Here are a couple of ST sensors found in mobile devices that help make this possible. And now we'd like to share a short video with you showing how all this comes together to make wide area 3D location a reality. Hi, this is Dan Hyde with NextNav. And today I'm gonna to show you our Pinnacle service in action using the NextNav Z-axis evaluation app. This will show two different measurements, height above ellipsoid, which is a smooth surface representing the highs and lows of the terrain as it's not flat and the HAT, which is height above terrain, consider that the ground floor. So those are the two values that our evaluation app will measure, and let's see how that works in action. I'll, as I'm recording this, I'll actually show my screen, so you'll see this side by side. So as we start walking up from the ground floor to the second floor, you will notice both the HAT and the HAE moving up as we're walking up the staircase. Today we're providing two values in the HAT and the HAE. Longer term, we'll actually have a solution that will show you that what floor we're actually on. And that's a harder problem to solve, and we'll have a few different versions coming out over the next few months, so stay tuned for that. And as you can see, as we move up to the third floor, my HAT is about 7, 7.6. It'll take it just a second to finalize at just about eight meters above the ground. Now we'll start heading back down. And you'll notice that my, both my HAT and the HAE are moving down, indicating in fact, we are going down. And coming back down to the ground floor, you will see that both measurements are coming down in line with where we are. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of Z-Access in action with our Pentacle service. We think this has great application from everything from public safety to consumer applications to new mobile, ad, uh, new mobile games that can be created using Pentacle service. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more updates from NextAv. If you'd like to learn more about 3D geolocation, please visit us at nextnav.com.